come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? <laughs> Hello, and thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. <laughs> Hi, folks. Uh, welcome back, some of you. Welcome. If you're just finding us, hey, please Hello. give us a like or a share or subscribe to us on Twitter or Twitter. I'm sorry, on iTunes, Stitcher Radio or Google Play or TuneIn Radio, wherever you found us. Uh, you can also write to us. And we encourage you to do that you do on either Facebook Facebook.com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. On sorry. Twitter. <laughs> at Sat Freak Show. Or by email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And we'll read your comments later on the mailbag segment of our show. What do we do? We watch a movie, then we talk about it for your listening we dance, pleasure. We dance. <laughs> and then we dance. We dance. We dance. You guys know this. <laughs> Saturday Night Freak Show crew here. And we dance. Wait, what'd you call me? We gotta have street names. Yep. Who are these internet radio superstars? Sean Funky Force Tyler. <laughs> oh. Holly <Holly's> Smith. <laughs> Sean Sanders. It's Holly Smooth Fuca over there. What up, Smooth Fuca? Fuca? <laughs> Smooth Fuca and the Funky Force. My Smooth partner Fuca and the Funky Force, here. yep. And I am Michaela M. Bison of the Massive Tribe. <laughs> wow, I got nothing, dude. I'm just calling C Square over here and tonight as you manager as you may have guessed we watched a special film tonight it was chosen by Michaela, Michaela. man it's just off like yeah. every just, week I, I don't know out. what's going on yeah, like gave him a stare and everything I one of these it. days we're gonna have it. this down yeah. uh, well Michaela what did we watch tonight we watched the canon film Breakin' From 1984. Mm. This is, you're on like a kick about canon films this it, year. It is the summer of canon. This is the second entry. Our first one was the glorious over the top episode. Do um, we need to entry. tell people why you love canon films so much? Uh, they had a history of it's making. Like why, why do other people not love it? Yeah, exactly. It, it, it's <laughs> like, it's what, really a true? treasure trove of everything yeah. you could want. You should love you know? it. You um, know? why. Yeah. I mean, they, they had a history of, uh, they hit the peak in the 80s of, they would make really low budget films, but then market them as being like super amazing, Oscar worthy, you know, events of the century. And people would go see it and they make a shit ton of money. So they were the proto. Um, Blumhouse, basically, except you know, Blumhouse, I would say, put out better quality movies than oh, most. Yeah. Than most, Blumhouse is more you know, credible. yeah, this Blumhouse is, is definitely sure. more credible. Where this is really sketchy, you don't know where the money's coming from, and the, the end result is always like very shoddily put together. But it, they're a lot of fun, and they're trying to compete. I think at that time with uh, you know, I'm, Beat Street. The- <laughs> Beat Street was the big one. Oh well, all right. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so. Well, specifically canon, or uh, not canon films, but I mean, this film, mm-hmm. Breaking, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, it's about breakdancing. I think some territories of the world, it's actually called Breakdance the Movie or yep. something to that effect. Mm-hmm. So how did this come about? So canon always tried to like predict the the next like trend, and they would hit it really hard and make a lot of money. Um, and as we saw with Over the Top, they kind of arm thought arm wrestling, wrestling was going to be a thing. <laughs> you know, they got ninja. They did ninja movies, and those were wildly successful. Break dancing kind of came out of nowhere and was a thing in major inner cities that got really popular. So they made a movie about it, and it ended up making a shit ton of money from it. So mm-hmm. good. I read some trivia. I'm not sure if it opened the same week as 16 Candles. It did. It outgrossed 16 Candles. What? Yes. It was number this one. It outgrossed a John Hughes movie. Yes. One of the it, most famous John Hughes movies. It opened wow. the yes. same weekend as 16 Candles and outgrossed it. So I have, that brings me. Oh I, have, I, have, wow. I have a little question for you guys here. Here we go. So this movie cost $1.6 million to make. Yeah. And it's opening weekend, it made six million, which is huge. That's like this is eighties dollars, so there's a lot more than it is now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The movies were a lot cheaper to make back then than they are now. But I want to play some some prices right rules of what, how much do you think the lifetime gross of this I'm movie ready. was? Thirty five million dollars. I'm gonna lifetime gross. Lifetime. I'll say one hundred and fifteen million. I'm gonna go sixty five million. I know what it is, so I'm not gonna guess. Colin, you are right. It made $38 million yeah. at the box up. Guys, wow. this movie was a huge hit. This huge. movie was a huge wow. hit. Mm-hmm. And we that, can see why. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, outgrow 16 candles. How That's often crazy. How do you get to see 
uh, a gay black dance crew. Mm hmm. Go off against gay John Leguizamo. Yeah. <laughs> Low man. In a break yeah, movie. Low rent John Leguizamo. Yeah. <laughs> what was going on in the zeitgeist back then? I mean, I kind of remember this, but wasn't into it at all. The, the dance movie phenomenon that I guess came in. It's like, it's kind of, it, it strikes me as like if you took Rocky and combined it with Saturday Night Fever. I suppose Saturday Night Fever already was this kind of thing. Yeah. Right? You're going to work in these big dance numbers into your story of. You know, the guy on the, whatever, at the low end of the totem pole trying mm-hmm. to climb through the, I'm really world. good at my, you know, yeah. at this thing that I do that nobody else appreciates. But yeah. There was flash dance. Mm-hmm. There was staying alive. Mm-hmm. But, oh, staying alive. We might watch that at some point. <laughs> <laughs> but there was this uh, thing about break dancing that kind of came around, I think, like in 83 or 84, right? Because mm-hmm. this was the first... Was this the first one that made it to the screen? Because there were several breakdance movies that all came out around the 84, 85. Were there? I'm going to check when Beat Street came out because I don't remember. Yeah, that's but, right. Which but came I, first? Beat Street? Because that was like the New York scene, right? Yep. I believe, and this is Venice Beach. Mm. Beat Street was 84, so it was the same year. Oh, cool so is there you go. Album. This is like the original East Coast, West Coast feud. Yeah, right? yeah. obviously. Beat Street and Brady. Obviously. <laughs> oh, no. Everyone we're, knows that. Holly. Obviously. <laughs> And nobody remembers Crush Groove. <laughs> crush Groove? Anyone? Nope. Anyone? Nope. Can't okay. say I do. You speak like you've seen it. Well, <laughs> Crush Groove, I think, is the one. I don't know if it's necessarily 100% like a breakdance movie, but it is the fictional, the fictionalization of the Russell Simmons story. Instead of Def Jam, it's Crush Groove Records. <laughs> oh yeah, God. and it's the debut, I think, of like uh, Ice Cube, I think, is in that one. And Flavor Flavor Flav and maybe Sheena Easton or sorry Sheila E. We're all in that, but that may have been the predecessor of Rappin', also from Canon Films, Rappin'. which came out I believe wow. in 1985. Oh yeah, they were right. They yeah. had their fingers on the pulse. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> this is where we learned that Collin Street. <laughs> I just yes, remember. Yes, I remember that these movies are coming out in theaters. I like, yeah, I just made era. that name up. C squared. It's been yeah. Yeah. a long time. We're gonna like go somewhere with Colin. He's be like C squared. Oh, got that moves. happens all the time. <laughs> It's like, oh yeah, don't make me break him out. I'm retired. I think, yeah, yeah, some some nemesis is going to charge him to you know like, challenge uh-huh. you to find you. Like, I don't do that anymore. And then yeah. Colin's going to train a younger one. Yeah, to take his place. Colin B12 is here. Yeah. Your old nemesis. Oh my god, god. it's going to happen. B12. And you're going to fi- you're going to train C cubed. Uh-huh. And then at the end, I'll be able to whip out my. I'll achieve the glow and be able to. You know. And at the end, it's like Colin. This is your son, C3. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you two to meet. <laughs> That would be the cube. Whole... Yeah, yeah, that's the cube. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. All right. I just... All right. So free <laughs> <laughs> made it went better. So okay. what do you know about I... where um, break dancing originated? I'm just curious. Like, what not much. Was yes, it tiny white girl. I guess. Yes. Tell us <laughs> what you know. Midwestern white girl. How much do you know? <laughs> yes. What if I told you the that history. there was a documentary? I and I'm not it. sure what it was called. It was like Wild Style or something like that. That I believe that all of these movies kind of were um, like takeoffs of, you know, storylines or something that was in this like real life documentary of these kids, like figuring this shit out mm-hmm. and working together and doing all this stuff. And then they spun that off and made these movies out of it. And I think took some of the people like I may might be talking out of my ass here, but I think maybe Boogaloo Shrimp and uh, Shabadoo. Yeah, they're, I know they're we're speaking in alien they, language, right? We're, yes. we're trying, we, I'll try and ease. It probably sounds here. like you're stroking out right now, but you're not. <laughs> Those yeah. are names. Those are yeah. No, they were they were actual like break dancers that were basically made into actors. And could you guys not tell by I their mean, groundbreaking I, uh, performance that they were? <laughs> the I'm movie. picking up your sarcasm. <laughs> I, 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 I'm not being sarcastic. I thought at it all. was just the direction. <laughs> That's what I thought. They've I been in a lot, a lot of music videos. Like I believe a that. lot. They've been in like a lot of Shaka Khan music videos, mm-hmm. uh, especially right before this movie came out. They really pushed them into a lot of that. Now, they've, were they yeah. featured in any Ice T videos? Not to my knowledge, but you will appreciate this. Um, <laughs> Boogaloo Shrimp was in the Sugar Ray music video for Fly. Shut up. Yep, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Are they still doing stuff. Yeah, they're oh, all Google. still. Yeah. they're all still dancing. Well, I mean, granted, Fly was like twenty years ago. Yeah, but, but still, that like Jesus. Yeah, fucking old. Yeah, that's a whole. <laughs> <sighs> 
And they were both in um, the all night long music video for Lionel Richie. They were both in that. Oh, oh yeah. my God. Yeah. yeah. They were both in that. So. Yeah, Wonderful. It seems to me yeah. I remember hearing that. The, right? Yeah. That, yeah. You'll be. Oh, and. Um, there will be a music video search later on tonight. <laughs> Adol- uh, Adolfo <laughs> Quinones, the real life uh, Shabadoo. Yeah. He was in Tango and Cash briefly as well. Get the fuck yep. out. He had like a, a small bit part, Tango and Cash. Wow. Wonderful. So, we watched that on the freak show and didn't even point out that little bit of trivia. Mm-hmm. I'm disappointed in us. You should have known. Yeah, in the future, you would watch a movie that. You're the last one here from that era. Like none of us were here. Yeah, we were here. <laughs> Freak Show fault. Volume yep. Four. <laughs> yes. Yeah. It's Mark. Yeah. Uh, Mark Four. I <laughs> we're like so. Yeah. Purple. These guys pop up everywhere. You never know where, where they'll be. You know. I will. Uh, I'm gonna watch it and be like, "That's Boogaloo Shrimp." It's gonna be great. And your wife's gonna be like, "Are you having a stroke you know, right now?" Like, Boogaloo shrimp. <laughs> what, what did you just say? Well, Boogaloo shrimp gave. I thought uh, we were having the... chicken tonight. <laughs> <laughs> well, Shut he up. gave Boogie. the sequel to Break, and one of the greatest movie titles in all of filmdom. Mm-hmm. Breaking Two is Electric Boogaloo. That's right. Mm-hmm. Is yep. he more prominently featured? No. Well, is it like? Okay. Is it? So you know, we saw the. I mean, we'll get to it. But we, you know, we saw the amazing broom dancing. Uh, so yeah, they take that to like the nth degree in the sequel. And like in the sequel, like he dances like on the walls, on the ceiling. Like I remember fast forwarding through it and it's still going on forever. Like that scene, like like it's mostly like his dance scenes are just way longer in the, in the sequel. But other than that, he's not. He's still the sidekick of Ozone. Yeah. But they, they realize just, what they had. They just realized yeah. like, his name. Yeah. Yeah. He's standout in this. We should. Ozone <laughs> shrimp doesn't sound good. His, his no. feet are electric. Yeah. <gasps> yeah, yeah. Breaking two yeah. ozone. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Uh, not the same thing. But these were shot back to back, correct? Breaking one and yep. breaking two. They came shot. out within seven months of each other. Yeah. Okay. So Canon wasn't fucking around. Nope. They're like, we've no. got something here. We're going to capitalize on it. And the second one made a lot less money, even in that short amount of time. Oh. Yeah. The bad was over by the <laughs> time the. That's because it's it too moved much on too to hip hop and rap. Yep. They probably scored big yeah. with rapping. Yep. <laughs> rapping. I should check that out. <laughs> yeah, like, you can't just give them too much, man. You got to give it to them and be like, oh, it was great. And then you got to just hold off on it for a little bit. Well, in the second one, like, the first one is literally only about dancing, whereas the second one is like, we got to save the community center through dance. And, like, it's uh, much more. It's like White sh- Christmas. Yeah, it's it's much more forced. What? Sorry. <laughs> What? <laughs> and that's Colin connecting dots. You didn't know we're there. What? <laughs> like White Christmas. What you've never seen? White like Christmas? like Bing Crosby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They gotta save. The yeah, I've guys seen like, it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just it's like it. The exact same. Okay. How much West Side Story is in this? You well, got I mean, street not gangs much. that fight each other. They don't dancing. fight. They they barely dance close to each other. I mean, they fight, but it's it's a different kind of. <laughs> this thing. is okay. It, so, so it's much like aggression in that. I would combat combat yeah. dance. It is, yeah. but, they, but at the same time, there's no contact. Like they're just really in close proximity. It's, but that's yeah. it. Watching this, I realize I don't understand dancing mm-hmm. I, at all. <laughs> Whoa, like I think Holly. I mean, that's point, okay, Sean. I, I didn't said, right, get it okay, either. Because I don't know who won, who lost. Holly said, "Like, well, who won? Like, well, is this good I, dancing? Says, I don't know. Right? Is I this good? Know. I think like, you go until Ice T says like makes an insult about you, yeah. and then you're done. Probably, yeah. or like, until like the crowd. I think the crowd decides who yeah, the winner is yeah. when they crowd around you and just like, yeah, that was the best. But like the first time when like that when like the secret weapon that extra girl showed up for mm. Electro Rock, the the rival dance gang, and like Ice T was like, oh snap, and then like when Ozone walked away, he was like, and Ozone. Zone's dipping out or whatever. Yeah, no, so he, like, yeah, it's as soon as it. yeah, as soon as like Ice T talks shit about you, your game it's over with, basically. Shit. <laughs> Ice T. Usually that's how I do my life. Ice T. This movie pre cop killer. Like he had, that yeah. has not come out yet. He's well, his not, rhymes aren't very on point either. On no, this they're one. terrible. It was, it was like, wow! If you How could dare spot you? How Colin, both of you. And this guy, can we? No, can we just take a moment and <laughs> no. hear the and just recognize that Colin just said his rhymes weren't on point. <laughs> They're, they weren't on fleek. I, I, what did I say? The wrong thing? Oh, all right. Uh, I just never. I just, yeah, much my beer away I just never me. thought I would hear you say that about anything fleek. ever. All right. Uh, Ice T has said because people bring this up in interviews every once in a while oh, with him. Um, they sh- as they should. Brave people bring this up Brave in interviews. <laughs> and uh, he, a scary dude. Let's he has said. He has said this is a quote. My performance and that movie are both whack. Whack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so he. Mm-hmm. This is not uh, something he likes to talk about. Uh, he's a much skinnier man in this movie, I will he's say. Very like, thin. He's very thin. He's thin like he's 15 felt. years old, he's got a full mustache. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. He had, he had facial hair at like 15. Completely yeah. svelte in this movie. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, he's yeah. a skinny man. I, he probably had not even met Coco yet. 
Uh, probably uh, not. No, probably not. No, no, no. no. I think that's yeah. where the weight he, gate Coco came in. Coco would crush yeah. him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. This version of yeah. Ice-T. Break him in half. Mm. Speaking of cameos, can we talk about Jean-Claude Van Damme in the beginning? Oh my gosh. Yes, Jean-Claude Van Damme is in this movie. <laughs> it's a very serious his, background answer. His yeah. first on-screen an extra, performance a legit extra. ever. Oh, look at him. He's so excited. <laughs> you know, there's actually... Leotard. He's wearing a singlet. If you uh, if you <laughs> a uni? Uh, what do you yeah. call those? A leotard? Yeah. 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 If you a read it. Yeah, you, yeah, uh, unitard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. All right. Yeah, yeah. That's look at he's so happy. If you read anything about JCVD talking about this movie, he said that when they first shot this scene, he was like jumping up and down and like waving all around and being ridiculous because he wanted to get more screen time. Mm-hmm. And the director was like, if you don't knock that shit off, we're gonna like get another extra because you're just an extra. You know, you know, yeah. we can you're replaceable. And so like he had to like tone it down a little bit, but he's still kind of going for it, like especially yeah, in he's not, you know, uh, like he knows what's going on. Almost some of those takes were the ones that were used, and the other ones where he's just kind of glowering. In the yeah, background. he's glowering. A lot, yeah. Well, then he's he, really was, into it. Wasn't the story that, uh, I mean, the way that Jean Claude Van Damme broke into the movies was he went up to like Menachem Golan or Yoram, Yoram Globus and said, You should put me in a movie. And they're mm-hmm. like, Yeah, yeah, whatever. And then he like delivered one of his kicks like to like right in front of their face. Yeah. And held it. They're yep. like, Okay. And it was Kickboxer. Yep. Yep. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> mm-hmm. That's awesome. <laughs> said, yep. uh, kickboxer. Yep. Well, probably yeah, they're like, do that we'll give yours. you a chance at Predator. Let's put you in that first. <laughs> <laughs> but that didn't work out as we all know. Yeah, well, yeah. that wasn't their movie. But yeah, he was trolling yeah. around trying to get into movies. Yeah. Back then, was this, was this the moment when he did the kick? Like a break from this movie? Yeah, like a break from this movie. It had to have been, right? Because this is his first on screen performance. It had to have been this movie. Did he literally get his foot in the door by like kicking it up and putting it in the door? He kicked it. Is he kicked, kicked his, his way, way into Hollywood. Hollywood. Yeah. He kicked his way into Hollywood. There it is. Yeah. He True story. And his yeah. Way Roundhouse into kicked his way into Hollywood. Yeah. There it is. You yeah. heard Fucking it here hero. first. Yeah. That's amazing. Mm-hmm. So what's this movie about? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, okay. So Lucinda Dickey from, oh, Nin- who, who, from right, Ninja yeah, Three. Yeah. Right. From the Ninja domination. Three. Another canon film. Um, what else has she done besides that? Well, she was in this, and then they're like, you got to come back for this ninja movie that we're doing. <laughs> yeah, they just keep the same talent yep. going. On. Well, these guys are yeah, awesome. They're, they're yeah. stable of artists. Uh, yeah. If if you were in a movie that outperformed Sixteen Candles, why wouldn't you come back to this production studio? You yeah. know, exactly. Why well, get yeah. Molly Ringwald when you can get her? <laughs> Loose into Dicky. I know, Obviously. right? You know, uh, she is a jazz dancer. Mm. They say that. Don't hear a lot of jazz, but they yeah. say jazz dancer. Um, well, before you go dancer. into her character, mm-hmm. I'm curious how much you know about Lucinda Dickey. Not much. Because I, I bet you Colin knows more. No, I don't. She Actually, has a great uh, mullet. On this one, I just assumed that she is like an, a legitimate dancer. Like, that's who yeah. she was prior to I this I don't know movie. that for sure. But I don't know anything about her. She'd have to be. Which makes you wonder, like, okay, they said, like, you know, they found, like, a dancer and said, we got to put you in this break in breakdance movie and you're going to learn how to break dance. That would make for an interesting movie. Where's that movie? Yeah. I know, right? Yeah, the let's behind see the that. scenes of this where yeah. they're like, okay, we're going to. Where she's, like, breaking her back over this over this movie. Like, yeah. you know, like. We kind of got that in a montage in this movie. Yeah, yeah. Okay. we, we kind of got that, that yeah, story. We kind of yeah. got that movie, yeah. It was uh, wonderful. Yeah. I'm sorry. Continue. It's okay. She's a, she's, a, she's a jazz dancer at Franco's dance studio, and Franco, Franco. plays by the rules. No, nobody comes into Franco's house and does any street dancing. No, um, Franco thinks he's no, the that shit. nonsense. Yeah, Franco. Um, she's his favorite student. You know. Uh, my favorite, or are we doing the nudge in the yeah, favorite? Favorite yeah. isn't like <laughs> like he might he commit some her. sexual assault like, later on, like the sexual assault yeah. kind of favorite. Yeah, exactly. Well, usually, bit. people go like, "Oh no, you know what? I'm just not that into you." But this one becomes like, "Oh my God, what are you doing?" Yeah. Oh, and then she's like, "I'm never coming back here again." Yeah. And yeah. Flees yeah. Out the door. It was it's very like, aggressive. He was. Very aggressive. He shoved her up against a mirrored wall. Like, yeah, that's and, worse yeah. than a regular wall. Yeah. Huh? yeah. <laughs> not, not only did he assault her, but he assaulted her against a mirror wall yeah because he yeah. had to watch himself yeah, yeah. exactly <laughs> in his Let's in his honest. boat neck shirt i think this movie is sponsored by boat neck t-shirts <laughs> and zippers and, and boat neck and t-shirts zippers. zippers crop tops and studded belts and, are yeah. all and over spandex. this movie lots of yeah. spandex like the fashion in this movie is you awesome. kind of have to see it I to mean, believe sorry. it you can't it, it can't be described by words alone you kind of have to see it i don't to understand it. how it the uh, spiritual uh, brother or cousin to uh the last dragon Oh as God! Yes, yes. I yes. wouldn't be surprised if the same lady designed all of those. Costumes. The costume designer, probably. I want to know how they made that gay dude's pants permanently up his ass. 
<laughs> like was it a was it like a bungee cord? They like, got they higher per- as the movie went on. Permanently up higher. His ass. I know. I know. I mean, you just pull my pie enough, and I think the '80s had a thing for like tight jeans. I mean, they're back now, right? The mm-hmm. skinny jeans, but I think like like I feel 80s. like I could sketch his junk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We've seen it so much. Yeah, oh, I know. God. Yeah. And women didn't wear bras either, apparently. No, no bras. Like, There's, no the, uh, yeah. no There's no need, Colin. There's no need. I know. What happened to these? The, Dance these free. These wonderful women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dance free. Feel mm-hmm. free. It's good a good, good time. Mm-hmm. Yep. Everyone was free, and that's really mm-hmm. all we It was all DIY clothing, because you just cut it or put zippers right, where you feel yeah. the need, you know? Right. There was moments where I'm like, why are you, Why is that cut? Yeah. Like A thermal why? t-shirt with the whole it's midriff cut off. It's a perfectly good sweatshirt, why and there's a cut and there's a cut off the side. Yep. Well, how much of this too because is it's like rip, you know? Sean, it's one of those wash. things where I can't the, tell. What dancing ha- is when it's going to rip. Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell what came first, like the fashion that Michael Jackson kind of pioneered. I mean, like you know, I saw a lot of moonwalk inspired moves in this. Mm-hmm. Oh, they definitely watched Beat It and were like, "Dude, but you're thinking he we're came first. This. I mean, all the zippers on the jacket and stuff that was Michael Jackson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like that. He came first, did that, and that kind of made its way into the movies. I don't know. I don't. Know. I think we don't so. know this stuff. Mm-hmm. Probably. Let's say yes. We'll say yes. I would love nothing more than to interview the costume designer for this movie. Yeah. Oh my god. They probably just went to the store and like that was what was available, (laughs) like on Van Nuys Boulevard or something like that. And uh, they went to members only. Yeah. (laughs) They probably just like. Called other extras, like, just wear what you wear. What, bring whatever you have. Just wear yeah. that. Yeah, wear, what's that shit you wore last Tuesday? Yeah. I want that. Wear what you think would be worn on st- in street dancing. Just wear that. Yeah. Yeah, lots of zippers. Lots of... Yeah, uh, 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 Do you think JCVD yeah. brought his own leotard? I guarantee I think they probably leotard. asked him not to wear it, and he did anyway. Yeah, just like, we, we saw what you came to in the audition. Don't wear that. So even though that she takes uh, legitimate dancing... Lessons from Franco. She, one of her dance classmates, like knows these break dancers and takes her down Adam to the Adam, beach. Yeah, Adam was his name in Turbo. Was, was his Adam. name was Adam. Adam, <laughs> sorry. The guy with the super tight pants. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they go down to see this, and she is blown away. Blown away. She's never yeah. seen anything because like it's this. It's so fresh, Colin. So fresh. It blows her away. Because they dance from their heart, not from yeah. the lessons Franco teaches them. She doesn't them. understand the street, the heart of the street, mm-hmm. Colin. Yeah. But she can recognize that it's fucking awesome. That's yes. right. So this blows everything else away. That's right. I think we witnessed during this first confrontation, this is where I kind of got into where I was trying to formulate my opinion of this is some kind of like combat dance, right? Mm-hmm. Because while uh, I was going to say Shabadoo and Electric Boogaloo, or Boogaloo are performing, but it isn't. It's Turbo and Ozone. That's right. <clears throat> or Tony Turbo. Orlando. There's you so many their names. Other nicknames, yeah. but not their movie yeah. nicknames. Right. Yeah. Turbo and Orlando. Ozone. Ozone. Tony Damn Orlando. It. Tony and Orlando. Turbo and Ozone. Turbo and Ozone. Tony Orlando. Wait, their names. Yeah. 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 Tony Orlando. Yeah. Tony Orlando. <laughs> Tony Orlando. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, what? Damn. All right. Okay. How did I miss this? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Tony and Orlando. Turbo and Ozone. Wait, Boogaloo was shrimp. Don. No, yeah, it was no. Kate. She was K. Damn it. Kelly. Special K. Kelly. Special K. Special K. I'm like, Kelly, K. Kate, uh, Kelly. She should Special K. Gone. That's a missed That's okay. opportunity. Special <laughs> K. There it is. So while they're doing their little their their dance performance just out in Venice Beach with the crowd of onlookers, yeah. there's these two other guys come up. And these two other guys are like... Are they like, you're on our turf? Or we can just dance better than you. You guys suck, and we can do it right, better. I think and so they have a spontaneous, like, dance-off. This is just a tease for what's coming later. This isn't the full-on thing. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> but it's like, look, my dance moves are better than yours. I'm yeah. trying to do, like, the, what do you, mm. you lock pop it? And lock. Well, it look, pop and lock. Pop and lock. What do you, what do, you, do, you, you, do, you <laughs> do you lock it, or how do you it pop? Right it looks like you're doing the oh, chicken wait, dance. Wait, push it, it looks to like pop you're doing it, the chicken dance. Look, rock it to lock it, clear. break it to make it. There you go, that's the tagline wait, for this move. Sean, will you please read the tagline and break into it? Uh, oh, yes. Yeah, so break into is, uh, if you can't beat the system, break it. That's right. Yep, that's right. That's right. I'm sorry, uh-huh. you almost went into the Miami Vice theme song there for a second. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So, what is the outcome of this? Is it a challenge at this point? I think it's getting there. Yeah. Because they like, haven't go- they haven't talked about going to. Friday I mean, they're yet. a rival group. Yeah. yeah. Electro. They at this point, they just walk off because they're the bigger man. I mean, they it's kind of a challenge because they. Came Ozone kind of does that. Like when he feels intimidated, he just walks away, which is like, man, kind of a he's kind you. of a pussy bitch move. It's kind of a bitch move. Yeah. He's very afraid. Yeah. You're saying that's what it is? He's afraid of success? 
Or he's afraid of failing. He's insecure. He's insecure. Colin. He is yeah. very. And Boogaloo fair. Shrimp's like, come on, do it. Yeah, let's and, do uh, it. You know. What's your problem? With everything in the world, yeah. but fucking Shabadoo is just not. He's not yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's afraid. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Success, failure, <laughs> women. <laughs> He's afraid of everything. Long shirts, full length shirts. <laughs> yeah. You know, he wears covering top his body with yeah. clothing. He's afraid. <laughs> Taking out that ear cuff that Holly hated so much. I fucking hated that ear cuff. Yeah, it was bad. It was <laughs> bad. <laughs> it's like not even an earring. It's no, just it's just a cuff, cuff around it's the cuff, outside of his ear. Which I remember yeah. ear cuffs were a thing like in the early nineties. Yeah, I, that, that was still around, but they didn't dangle like that. Yeah, that, that's because mm. he's got his own style. Yeah, mm. that you just don't yeah. understand. And he doesn't clearly. need your approval to have. Yeah, right. <laughs> I know. You're just he trying made, to put him in a box, that very Holly. Clear. He follows his heart. He does Nobody what he does. puts ozone in a corner. I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Mm-hmm. He, he practices with his buddy. Actually, uh, they can because he's a pussy. He's a bitch. So. He's all bitch. Well, he and Turbo have uh, a strange living arrangement where they, <laughs> they live in a garage, which is also the their garage. dance studio. Yeah. Yeah. They work at a convenience only, store. They both live there. Was there only just the one? There's only bed one twin bed. The, yeah. But they're. But, even but we when, only see them both there. Yeah, you know, like, true. and even when Ozo was gone, t- t- what's the fuck? Turbo, T Bone, T Bone, T Bone's just hanging <laughs> out. Yeah. T Bone was still Turbo. there, like teaching those kids. All right, yeah. let's go with uh, Turbo's mom lives in the house. He lives with the mom, and Ozone still weird is staying in the. Garage. I get it. Though. Still weird. I get that. That makes sense. All right, there we go. And they and both work at the same convenience store, which right. is which is parents' own. <laughs> Yeah, I his was, parents own. Uh, and, yeah. and when they're closing up shop one night, <laughs> oh, you got to tell this. the best scene of the movie. It's magical. Uh, Ozone tells Turbo to go sweep outside. We get the greatest. And you can't just do something if you're Turbo. Not in this movie. That's not what happened. Sean, they have 87 minutes. They have to fill. They. T- this was 87, <laughs> 87 minutes. They have to fill. Longer. Yep, <laughs> they have they have a whole 87 minutes. Not even 90. 87 <laughs> that they have to fill. Minutes. Well, there's a there's a precedent for this scene, maybe in a musical, because we're saying that that's what this is. That's, I mean, it's you're giving like, it too much credit by calling it a musical, I think. But it has the structure of a musical, right? We've got dance numbers every right. These are the thirty musical seconds. numbers where they're singing. <clears throat> but how many of you have seen Singing in the Rain? Yes, yes. I yeah. love yep. Singing okay, in the Rain. Okay, so Sorry. This it's where earned. He, you know, basically does weightless tricks around a light pole. Mm-hmm. If I'm remembering mm-hmm. this correctly. Yes. Oh. I'm is really not loving of, your comparison right but now. But is it out of step with, there's nothing else of that kind of magical, you know, quality in the rest of the movie, or right. is there? No. Would no. that be an analogy to this scene, which we're suddenly going to, he's I mean, going to have a scene where he dances with a magic uh, sweeping brush. I found, it, I I found right. it more a broom. A broom. A Thank sweeping you. Brush. A sweeping brush. Sweeping brush. Did you really lose broom? <laughs> yes, I lost second. broom. Oh my God. I, I found it a little more fantastic. This movie broke Colin's brain. <laughs> 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 I, I found it a little more Fantasia than Singing in the Rain. Yes, so like, it is Mickey, totally Mickey more Mouse Fantasia. The, yeah. <laughs> and if you are lucky enough to watch this in the beautiful Blu-ray quality, you will notice the strings hanging oh. from his fingers. Oh, don't as, be oh, breaking yeah. me down. As he makes the broom levitate in his hand. You're breaking, breaking. Oh. But yeah, I mean, I suppose that's why we're here. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We're here to take it apart, you yeah. know? Yeah. But it's a magical moment. It's where a mm-hmm. breaking bad the, the, to be made. Uh... <laughs> You made it. Oh, you did it. You can't do it again. I did. You can't That's do it again. It. Yep. That's never it. be done. I got my laugh. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. All right. I'll shut up now. Well, this is just a step on the way to... Well, I mean, is there anything else that needs to be said about this amazing scene? You said it was the best scene it's, in the movie? Oh, yeah, because it's... That's when you're like... It makes what no am I in fucking for? sense. It's when you're like, I, I've crossed the... You know, into... Why is the right, broom do we get floating? more magic? Yeah, like... Why is the broom floating? Exactly. But that's when you realize, like, I am in a whole genre of movie I don't understand. Like, is it possible <laughs> that uh, Turbo is enchanted? And yes. he hasn't revealed it to Yes, Ozone. it's very possible because like I said in the sequel, he like dances on the walls and on right. the ceiling. That's why he's and so confident because yeah. like, you just I'll do, I'll just bust out some shit. And Ozone's keeping him down. He won't let him he show is him back. He's he holding him back. He's holding him back. You know? But maybe he's so holding crazy. him back. I hate, or is, I hate it. is Turbo like the magical <laughs> fairy creature who has come up from the nether world the to muse? basically the muse? He's he Olivia Newton, John and Xanadu. Oh my god. I haven't seen that what? movie. I don't know what she's talking about. I have about, no that idea. Sounds well, right. You never seen what? Xanadu? Xanadu? I'm just not even agreeing. Shut up! Sarcastic Colin is poking his head out. <laughs> what is going on? <laughs> How dare so, you, sir? This is breaking. <laughs> Sorry. So okay. he's a magical little street nymph, is what you're saying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Is there to help I didn't and think guide? You were a nymph. 
Ozone. Oh, oh I was just like, huh? no, I was like, Holly, what are you doing? Okay. No. Oh my god. Like, like, no. <laughs> he said, I would imp, never. Imp or nymph? Nymph. 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 No. He would be like a street imp. An imp What's is the like difference a, between a nymph and a little man? And, imp. Yeah, An imp is like a, like, a, like a midget. Like a <laughs> what is a nymph? A little person, you mean. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm oh, just kidding. No. I, was, I was thinking You're like... You're getting all offensive over <laughs> I was thinking like Game of Thrones. Like, right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he was an imp. Drop yeah, the N-words. Okay. People... You, oh. <laughs> uh, I'm okay. a nymph. I'm five beers in. Oh. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> all right, then. All right. So, Lucinda Dickey wants to... Uh, Dance with her heart now with Franco's rules mm-hmm. and his sexual assault on because her. They, I mean, they drop by at a certain point when they're not, you know, to, see, he's to like, check her out. He's like, no black people in my studio, basically, basically is what he says. Talk about the yeah. undercurrent of this movie. Yeah. Were there no black people in her studio? There was Adam, but he was, was gay and yeah, conforming right, okay, to Franco's yeah. rules. No, there, right, so, yeah, okay. they were yeah. they were classic dan- the classical yeah. dancers, yeah. the jazz dancers. But he was clearly yeah, like, right. no poor black people no in my studio. Yeah. Yeah. No yeah. yeah. He's talking yeah. about their style of dancing, because this is like to him an offensive style of dancing. Right. It's not where they do like the robot and break and stuff like that, not the fluid, graceful moves of you know the angels that right. Lucinda Dickey can pull off. This unsophisticated. She was a very dancing. nice dancer. What, what can I say? Like she? I was, yeah, I was transfixed whenever she was dancing. Later on in the movie, I'm like, oh, that's she's what, very good. Like she knows what she's doing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, she does. She is a dancer. Mm-hmm. Those backflips were pretty dope. I, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. Was Those that backflips. The way that I think she it was. Her. Oh yeah, definitely. It looked like it was. They do it, and then they show her dancing and everything. And yeah. She does yeah. those side flips that. Uh, gymnasts do, yeah. Where they mm-hmm. just like the head down, and just whoosh, whoosh. yeah. She's very good. Well, she has just yeah. a way mm-hmm. of. There's like there's these. I don't know how to describe them. They're like dancers. Please do these try flick <laughs> moments, right? Where you flick a part of your body this way that stops, like the head flick mm-hmm. with the arm flick and the shoulder flick and the hip flick or whatever. Pop and lock. And she does all of these. <laughs> As it says on the cover of this right. movie, but hers don't pop and they don't lock. They're they they what they're very describing smooth. Her pops and the other thing she's doing are locks, <laughs> flicks. Yeah, it's very smooth, very graceful, like an angel. Unlike your right. description of it. Okay, yes. all right. Then. So, so then she's not doing it right. Pop and locks not supposed to be graceful. Well, she wasn't. That was the thing. Like her dancing was of a different caliber so than she their dancing. Is what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> she added something to them. I think like, that's what the whole... goal of it was. Was right. that she was contributing to their, you know, unit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> to their unit crew. With two people. A crew. Crew. Three a crew. Yes. crew. There you go. Yes. <clears throat> which yeah. is what? Which is abbreviated as TKO later on. Yeah. Turbo. I mean, there you go. Special K and Ozone. Yeah. When they're at Laverne and Shirley moment walking oh down Venice God. Beach. It really is. <laughs> and their Laverne TKO shirts. They're like the monkeys. Yeah. Hip hop yeah. montage. Yeah. yeah. Venice, As many montages. Venice Beach is very different now. It, this movie, okay, this movie is basically 87 minutes of montages. Like it is yeah, montage it is. after montage, but after several montages, and she trains to be good enough to be in TKO. The way they shoot those, just the hand, like, no, you have to move your hand like this. And there's like the, five minutes okay. of no, no, move your hand there's like this. There's way too many yeah. hand gestures. Way, no, way, no way one, too many. No one wants to watch a dance movie in tight close ups. And there's a lot of tight close ups. There's so many this. tight close ups in this movie. Just like, go back a little yeah. bit. Get a wide lots, shot. Yeah. Lots of crotch. So lots much crotch. Even were the face hip close. Shots, Holly. <laughs> How dare what you? you? <laughs> a hip shot. <laughs> yeah, hip shots. You're doing the. All right. Crotch. Yep. Crotch. But shots. they find so there's like, wrist shots. Okay. Right. There yeah. are, I mean, there are, but they're so many tight close ups. They so. went to a, a wide. I'm like, oh, thank God. I can mm-hmm. actually see where everybody is and what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you get you get the gist of it, but like, they could have used a few more wide shots in that. Like, damn. You would see Ice T a lot more if they would just back off of those right. close shots because he's like he's the MC and you hear him constantly, mm-hmm. but like you hardly ever see him because they're on these tight close ups of all these dance scenes that yeah. like tight on their faces yeah. or their hands or their right. you know and waist it, or. But then becomes comical because of the faces they're making mm-hmm. while they're dancing mm-hmm. because obviously they're trying very hard, but they're also they're trying for the camera. right, but they're also yeah. trying to be intimidating when they dance and mm-hmm. it doesn't work when you're doing this. They're just. The seriousness they have on their faces, yeah, is comes across comical. Well, yeah, because they're gritting their teeth, yes, and, like making these staccato head movements yeah. and all this stuff. Big eyes, they have yeah. a Gritted showdown, teeth. like the actual showdown with uh, the Sean other crew, is that Electro saying? Rock, <laughs> Electro yeah. Rock, yes, at the, at the Radiotron, Radiotron. Thank you very much. The for- most unhappy dancer I have ever seen. Poor man's chocolate Kazama. 
Yeah, with his inside out shirt the whole movie. He's trying to give them the death stare. He lives his life that way. It's not just for them. He's unhappy. Right. But he, can, man, that, can that guy dance? That's not true. Can I don't know. He, can he? But I don't know. Not really. I don't know. Coming up this week, he I dances don't know with. If they can. He dances with his hands almost entirely. That guy. That's the, he's all. He's all hand dancing. dancing. It, it is, but it, like, but he makes it his whole thing. But that's his. Yeah, exactly. That's the only thing he does. Whereas, yeah. like, you watch like Turbo and Ozone, they do a little bit of that, but then they do like other right. stuff too. So you know, on the floor. And yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or that weird thing where like their arms go under their legs, like that weird crab walk they oh, do. Like so, so. so many weird things. They they do movie. they do a crab walk multiple times in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> multiple times. With Michaela. weird with like a really weird expression on their face that's really like unsettling. a really like menacing like, yeah. <laughs> like, like oh my god, my back's yeah. out and I'm trying yeah. to maintain like his face. Like yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, literally yeah. breaking in half. Yeah. Literally. <laughs> It's a whole well, now movie we know where the, the, the name code. They're Brand bending over breaking. backwards, breaking yeah. your body to yeah. do this. Yeah, but the the dynamics of their confrontation, right, is like mm-hmm. basically from what I can understand, right. This movie takes place in a world where people in don't swear really. In a world no. where break dancing was how you know <laughs> gangs fought each other. No, they didn't. And decided to. <laughs> All they do is they come up to each other and, you know, knock somebody's hat off their head or poke get, them. Dance real close. Oh, dance no. real, they bounce off of them and then they get back and they're like, shit, like, what, man? Now? Uh, yeah. what now? What now? The, and then the other team has the a chance one, to respond. Though, the one that threw me was when they were... When okay. when they Cut were about him. to when they were about to introduce the fact that they now had special K and they had they had a girl so they could go against the team with the girl yeah. like Turok. they got very like handsy with the girl did you notice that Do, like the way like, um Turbo well, yeah. well Turbo like thrusting. Turbo like fake pulled like fake oh my god he fake yeah. Janet Jackson at the he Super did. Bowl hurt well Justin oh. Timberlake he like yeah, yeah he like fake pulled open her blouse for like a second oh, and yeah, she yeah, was yeah. like oh I was like dude yeah. you're about to yeah. rip her shirt off I was like yeah. that's fr- I was like part of the game I was like that's because yeah. the then the guys are like standing there, you know, and like, what are they supposed to do? Because like he's moving in on he's their like turn. insulting them. He but then, yeah. but he that makes it knocked her back with a pelvic thrust. Yeah. He did, literally. but that's just as bad as Franco at that point. You're just as low as Franco. You know, that's like, true. You know, that's true. Unless this is part of the whole like this is accepted combat dance behavior. I'm just gonna I, keep. On I would say so. That. That's part of accepting con- so. as long as there's no actual like you know punches thrown, mm-hmm. right? Because mm-hmm. no, there's no there's the no line, like Colin. you can't have non dance contact. As long as you're dancing, you can make contact with the other person. Yeah, yeah. But you can't like in your state of so you can like anger. slap someone in the face as long as it's with a jazz hand. I think yeah, so. exactly. I think we saw that happen. basically. I think, that's okay. something yeah. Like yeah. That I think we did. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the rules of engagement. Yeah. So after many montages, it's a war movie. No, okay. <laughs> stretching it. You already, I mean, you already compared it to Singing in the Rain. Yeah. I'm about to write you off, okay? <laughs> so after many montages, Lucinda Dickey and Turbo and Ozone want to enter this dance competition. So they get an agent. Lucinda Dickey gets an agent who's played by none, none other than probably who should be ben, the highest billed person in this movie, Christopher McDonald. It, no, it's played by Christopher McDonald's hair. Yeah. That's <laughs> and Shooter McGavin. Himself. Shooter McGavin. Oh Goose. Goose from Grease 2. Goose. So, yeah. I don't remember, I don't remember Wasn't he the Grease skeevy too. boyfriend in uh, Thelma and Louise? I think so. I don't, was he? Or the husband? Husband? I, oh, was he? Did I he think have, so. Did he have a mustache? Didn't he? I don't, I don't know. Yeah. He, he was, was in Dutch. Yep, right. there you go. Yeah, he's he. Yeah, good character actor of the eighties and nineties. Oh, uh, very for sure. Yes. We yeah. all love Robin. Christopher mm-hmm. McDonald. Um, so hair. this introduces a subplot where basically the agent and uh, Ozone and Franco all love rectangle. Yeah, it's a. Yeah, well, square doesn't sound the same. <laughs> it's got to be a rectangle. Yeah, I, love, I, love a love rectangle. Yeah, I love square. I love square. It doesn't work. Love, re- love rectangle. <laughs> With Lucinda it's Dickey. A lo- technically, it's a love trapezoid because there are people that are further out than other ones, so that's how it's got to be. And this woman keeps Thought them all in the friend zone. I think by the end of the movie, I'm not remembering her like, you know. No, she doesn't have do. anybody. No, she doesn't. She doesn't have to, Because Colin. Her, first, yeah. her first love yeah. is dance, Colin. Yeah, yeah, she doesn't have to get with anybody. That's not what this movie is about. <laughs> Movie's about She's the love of dance. <laughs> She's a strong, yeah. independent dancing woman. Yeah. Obviously. She's, so this is a love rhombus, because <laughs> dance is also in there. <laughs> All right, we have another point in which to go. All right. Love rhombus. That is also my new dance name. I'm calling it now Love Rhombus. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, those two words together are beautiful. <laughs> Love rhombus. All right. All right. You're writing that one down. Okay. I remember that one. Yeah. So Franco, his motivation is now. Don't worry. I'll bring us down. Right, back down to earth. So Franco's motivation for just being an asshole through the rest of this movie and wanting to beat her team at the audition is yeah. he's jealous and was uh, because he assaulted her and she didn't reciprocate she that. He's assaulted. Yeah. Yes. yes. And uh, Ozone is constantly like, you know, well, do you have a boyfriend? Is this other guy your boyfriend? Like, do I have a shot with you? It's like, what's going on? And she's like, I just want to dance. She's very huggy though. To, like, everybody. she is. She she's is old. Nice. Pretty, pretty huggy. And I mean, when they're dan- dancing, there's like, okay, no, I, I, feel like, I feel like dance. she knows what she's doing. <laughs> Let's be honest. That's what I'm saying. So this friend zone thing is intentional. She, yeah. She's she's like, none of you guys she's are being, actually. She's being a little shady. She's holding them all on the line and mm-hmm. giving them hope. She's being yeah. a little shady. Yeah. yeah. Because didn't she hug Shooter McGavin right after he was like, yeah. but I really believe in you or yeah. something like yeah. that, right? Like he gave her a whole like pep talk about how like you can do it. And she was like, that was like the first Very time huggy. she hugged him. Yeah. Very mm-hmm. huggy. Yep. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Perhaps yeah. to a little shrimp, though, for being... A little shrimp. <laughs> Bo- Boogaloo shrimp. Boogaloo shrimp. <laughs> for being, like, the best wingman. He was yeah. such a great yeah. wingman. Yeah. Dude, he, he, he is the moral the compass of, of this car. movie. He yeah. wanted to just go off and break dance by himself. And hang out with the, the old ladies. Like, and, yeah. And then that one point when he was like, you know what's going on, right? Yeah. Like, I'm like, thank you. He is thank the moral compass something. of this movie. Dude, like, come on. He is the magical, like, fairy tale creature that's come to, like, guide. He's, he's, a, a, guard, he's a guardian yeah. angel. He's the he is the guardian, guardian angel. angel. He didn't have any moment where he was sitting on Venice Beach, mopey, tossing rocks into the ocean. That's no. Right. What a bitch. That was Ozone. That's right. That. He goes off by himself, brooms float. Yeah, he's, he's exactly. Training, he's training the little shrimps. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, I hope they are better than me. Yeah. I see a sequel to this movie that has been unmade. Oh, man. Where, yeah. Okay. Did you guys, okay, I'm I'm not 100% certain on this. Listeners, please correct me if I'm wrong. Um, But like, okay, that, that beach where Ozone was like chucking the rocks into the ocean and being all mopey about like, you know, not being good enough or whatever. He's fucking emo this whole movie. But anyways, like that scene where he's doing that, I'm like 90% certain that's the same beach where Blink-182 did that music all the small video. Things? Um, was it no, all the small things? It was the, I can't remember what song it was, but it was black and white and they were making fun of boy band music videos. All there. the small yeah. things. Okay, <laughs> I'm 90% sure it is that same part stretch of that beach they I filmed that so. on. Mm-hmm. Because that rock formation behind him looked almost exactly I like that. I think so. It better be Venice Beach, God damn it! otherwise I'm going to That's what I'm going to say. Is I'm pretty Venice sure it's that, Venice. Uh, is it Venice Beach? Because I don't, I don't remember, Ven- I mean... Granted, I haven't really been there, but I don't remember Venice Beach having rocks like that. I don't either. I don't. Well, whatever beach it Isn't is, it just right? Flat? The like, beach. I thought it was flat. That whole coastal yeah. area. Well, I thought Monica the rocky part was stuff. more like towards um, like north. Malibu. Yeah, it's more north. Whatever California beach you're on, I. If we have any, Calif- <laughs> it looks like. If we have any California listeners, please yeah. tell us, Illinois people. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. We have no idea. It looks like the same beach in that Blink 182 <laughs> music video, though. That I, I'm almost certain it's the same one. Which and is, it has yeah. been many years. So yeah, yeah. I think I read all the rocks. Mm-hmm. Shot- mm. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. that's good. I like that. They just got rid of all the rocks. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Fuck you, Colin. <laughs> did you guys? Did you guys notice this movie somehow? I did notice this movie. Uh, it was <laughs> it right got there it got it got the pass for all the Coca Cola product placement. Like, there's so much Coke product there placement in this movie. In the but no, like, like when they were at the fancy party, they, they, they were basically they no. were basically dressed in Coke. But they were yeah. they were at the fancy party, and all the fancy food was on the table, and there was one single can of Coke in the middle of well, the fancy. And the food. restaurant, the restaurant Lucinda Dickey works at, there was a big like billboard behind her. There was the machine, and there was the cups all there. And Greece doesn't get the pass for Coke product placement, but this movie flew yeah. under the radar enough and to you get it. You notice the product placement I know. Well. Yes, I, I notice it. I movie. always like notice it. Movie. I'm always on top of it. Yeah. But you you, you noticed a good one, though. The Sure this Microphone shirt. Yeah. yeah. He's wearing a Sure Microphone shirt. I'm like, <laughs> there, bravo. There was, a, there was a guy in Franco's dance class wearing a Sure Microphone shirt. Yeah. I want to think that, like, a lot like, of Nike, too. I feel like that, that extra showed up that day in like a shirt that he thought was great, and they were like, fuck no, it's gonna look ugly on camera. Uh, that feels like a wear this shirt. shirt. Oh. And like they had like they that was like the shirt they had available. I feel like it was a shirt they got from a grip. Do you think like, so? Yeah, right? Like, yeah. Where, no, I want hey you. You in the take back. your yeah. shirt off. Sh- take your shirt, shirt off. Or that guy was like on the crew. He's like, you get in there. Is there another guy who's always got his shirt on backwards? Yeah, That's it's the, the guy in like Electro Zama. Rock. Yeah. 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 He's got a shirt on inside out and backwards. Every day yep. of his life. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Same it's, his, shirt. it's his lucky dance shirt, Colin. Yeah. Ozone rocks the three oh, puka oh, shell oh, oh. necklace. Well, you gotta have your magic talismans if you're gonna participate in this kind of it's yeah. 
Very sure he's got yeah. the You know where the greatest missed opportunity that this movie had was? At some point, like they go know. into a hillbilly bar. Well, the out pet door patio right. of the hillbilly bar. Yeah. Where, where they drink RC out of RC branded right. cups. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Does anybody else and feel the gay undercurrent in this scene as well? So they were definitely were calling those people gay. Yeah. yeah. They definitely were. For sure. Yeah, the hillbillies challenged them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you don't they look did. like dancers. Come over here and dance with us. Well, they mean fight. But, right? right. But it didn't feel like they were. That. They were talking to the girl. Come dance with us. Okay. I'm going to go with that. That, that, yeah, yeah, like yeah, that, that yeah, that sure. adds up. That makes so, more, more yeah. sense. But a fight breaks out, and this is an opportunity where you could have done a couple things. Either they could show how awesome they are at dancing to country music. Right. Or how awesome their dancing? dancing is to break up a fight. They're dancing so awesome it stops people from fighting. It's like, you guys are pretty or, good. Or, yeah. or, <laughs> or they could have proved how awesome their dance was. At fighting, because I mean, it's a combat yep. dance thing. I, again, I'm bringing this up. Yeah, but they're like, not they fighters, could have been, Colin. Instead, they just what are you leave. About? <laughs> Their whole thing is like they go up and fight another. Yeah, but they don't crew. actually fight. There's no contact. They're just like this is not a know, fight they, yeah, pop it and lock no, no. It's they, like they, fucking they, ninja moves. No, they pop and dancing. they pop and lock and pop and lock. They get punched in the face. They're going down. <laughs> yeah, Colin. exactly. Yeah, <laughs> got a magical power. Fight in and their like, okay, no. those were right, a bunch of like those were like if they have a magical power in their dance. Dance moves. That I think would there's something to be, be said to about the environment they're in, where fight. everyone believes in this kind of shared magic of yeah. dance. Yeah, and I don't think that exists in that uh, country. Road. They were in, they were in like a redneck bar. Yeah, yeah. I think that all served RC. Away and, get their asses <laughs> and like like Holly said, it was like the extras from Roadhouse, or yeah. like or the people who didn't make the over the top audition. You know, <laughs> all in one restaurant. Yeah. There's a bunch of broken chairs and people getting punched and yeah. thrown out of windows and stuff like yeah. that, which I, probably happens every I, day. Should have been a guy in a roof who just just fell off again. On the next yeah, roof. Yeah, again, exactly. I have to ask. Missed opportunity. I have to ask. Sean, you lived there, some of you know, or a listener, if you're from California, are there like honky tonks like this in California? Because I didn't think there were. I'm sure there were back in the day. You don't think so? I f- <sighs> These people were like straight up. Texans. I didn't frequent the honky tonks when I lived there, but you I'm didn't. sure. I did <laughs> Why not? not? It was not a, it was not a thing. <laughs> Um, uh, they weren't prominent. I'll tell you that. So I mean, I'm sure there's at least one there. You think uh, so? I, I want to know. It. For I as varied know. for as varied as the culture is down there, I would say there's at least one. There has to be. There's like secret underground celebrity honky tonks. Yes, we'll just say that. <laughs> Stallone goes there to sing Drinkenstein right. in secret. Yeah, yeah. yeah. special appearance every yeah, yeah. now and again. <laughs> Definitely. Did you guys love that scene of Chris McDonald feeding his dog cheese? Uh, I mean, what, yeah, <laughs> when he's on the like, phone with Lucinda just Dickey, he's like, just feeding his dog slices of so cheese. Un- it was so oh, unnatural. God. Even the dog was like, what? Yeah. yeah. No, <laughs> yeah, the dog's like, hey, I don't want this. <laughs> Am I supposed stop? to eat the cheese? Am I, he's feeding me the cheese. That was definitely him making a character choice. Yeah. Well, yeah more, that moment. more uncomfortable for this poor guy is the like six minute. No, it's like a three minute musical montage. It's, oh, so bad. Where we see the... It, in a montage, you have to have at least three things to cut to. That's how you right. do a montage. I think that's the rule, right? <laughs> you you should. have three pieces of action right. that you can go to. But you they only have areas. two. Yeah. <laughs> One yeah. is the the training that's going on in yeah. the mirror room yep. yeah. mm-hmm. between the dancers. And poor Christopher McDowell sitting in the office. His office, yes. Making phone, phone calls. Making them calls. Smoking making cigarettes. Calls. He's talking to, you know, he's an actor. He's talking to himself, trying to make this look like... Come on, you got to give these kids a chance. You know, yes. we don't hear this, but this is what he's doing. And it just goes on and on and on to the point where you're like, whoof, this poor, poor guy. He takes got his it. jacket off at one point. <laughs> yeah. You know, you he's working so hard. Like there to be an ashtray that keeps getting fuller. Yeah, fuller exactly. They keep cutting back to that would have been awesome. That would have been miss, better. Yeah, they missed that. <laughs> if nothing else, it would have been better. Mm-hmm. Because that was awkward. But this all culminates in a massive. Audition battle. Mm-hmm. Did I miss something? A major plot point before? I mean, no, they, there's no, not. They beat, no, because it's literally all montages Electric up rock. until then. Right, yeah. yeah. They beat Electric yeah. Rock. At the, at the mopey the moment at the beach. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. The mopey moment at the beach. It's like, I'm going to show you. Oh, uh, we forgot. Like, I'm going to show you what real dancing is, yeah. which we haven't been showing up to Then he point. actually yeah. does show real dancing. They have this break dancer who is the best break dancer in the movie. Yeah. Not a major character. Some creepy looking motherfucker. He's got a like cerebral palsy. Yeah. And you guys are calling him creepy. <laughs> oh, the kid on the crutches? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Yeah. Dude, he's guys, got cerebral palsy. We see a kid on the crutches with a windbreaker up and the strings pulled completely tight. 
with a mustache. He looks like the Unabomber doing you know, like he has cerebral palsy. Like, like on the CP, yeah. dancing yeah. with crutches. Yeah, yeah. That was wonderful. Was, that was the shit. Like that, that was, was the best break dancing that in the movie. That was fucking yeah. tits. It the was. Best. I thought our heroes were going to be doing that kind of shit because that's why I was saying whenever they or you were saying whenever they were in the competition with. Uh, Robotron, Electro Shock, Electro Rock, Electro Rock. <laughs> you are close. Couldn't tell who's why did you why did you stop him and Megatron. not let him go on for at least three more guesses? <laughs> but that was the thing, right? Like if you saw them versus that guy, you'd be like, "Well, that guy, that guy, he, he that wins. guy wins. Yeah. That, that guy has legit. no legs. He wins. He has no he legs, and yet he like he had about? legs, but, they, but like, he had legs, but he had no. no legs. But like rubber. his torso strength was insane, though. Insane. Oh he, he did a handstand on top of his crutch. Yeah, and you could tell when he was doing the spinning that his legs were just spinning. Dead weight, dead, dead weight. weight. Yeah. They spinning were of their own free will. Yeah, yeah. they were yeah. flopping. He yeah. was not holding them yeah. up whatsoever. Those were yeah. like fucking propellers. Yeah, exactly. like, yeah, good job. And they all walk away. He's like, wait, can somebody hand me my help crutches? Help me, please. Please don't yeah. leave yet. I can't. I can't get them. Yeah, but it was amazing. Transcend a transcendent movie moment. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. very good. Yeah, but you that feel like what, you've seen the face of God. That is what dancing is. Yeah. Wow. For that enjoyment. Uh, but they, okay. they can't get into this dance competition that Chris McDonald has worked so hard to get them into because they are street dancers. Hard cut to them. Because and it's, they are black. <laughs> yeah, yeah, which is what it's code for, basically, right? What it's you know, code for. Yeah. Hard cut to them in Special K's BW wearing full tuxes. So that's such a good cut. <laughs> it is great editing. He'll, ne- he'll never want to do that. Cut Boom. to tuxes. Morning not tuxes even with, that. Not with even, tails. Right. And they're not even like aggravated about it. They're like fixing their coats. Yeah. And yeah. Gloves and everything. yeah. I'm just like, that's great. Yep. That's a great Amazing. cut. Until they get there. Right. And then they're told, because, you know, Franco goes over and talks to the judge, basically but saying, after, after his you know, very, I'm, it was gay cowboys dancing. It like, was it like, just, I can't, I'm, I'm not saying like, all dancers are gay. Gay, obviously not gay true. cowboys. Like doing the ballet to classical yeah, music at around, a jazz, it's a at a jazz no, concert. Hey, cowboy hats is so ridiculous looking. I mean, they just took, the image. They took West Side Story in Oklahoma and made it one. Yeah, uh, basically, that's what it was. yeah. Uh, except not as good. Uh, except uh, not as was. good. Yeah. Except not as good as that would be. <laughs> no, you know? no. Yeah. no, I would probably watch that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh so Franco goes over to Judge, who is like generic old white man actor, uh, somewhat British. Yeah, with very. Intense eyebrows. Cigar. Yep. Someone, uh, someone tell, and chops. Someone got, tell me why he didn't have a pipe. Someone tell me. He had a cigar. He needed a pipe. He yeah. Needed, like the uh, old English uh, wig with the yes. rolls in it. That's yeah. What I felt he like, came. I from, say. He came directly from a stage play of the Crucible. I yeah. swear yeah. to God. And they were like, "Can you, sir? Can you please take that powder wig off?" And he was like, "Do I have to?" <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, these are like the least qualified people you assume to yeah. judge a guy, this kind of dance kind. Any of kind of dancing. Yeah. But, yeah. But Franco basically says there are black people in this group uh, you know yeah, no, it's essentially what he says like, to them know, there are black people here yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um need to uh, make them leave they dance anyways rip the sleeves off their tuxes do their awesome straight dance the judges are Who's amazed <laughs> ozone yeah because finally he steps up finally, yeah. finally. ozone finally, finally. Stops me a little bit some gets a spine does his thing Rips yeah. um off. yeah tko knocks it out <laughs> how long have you been awesome waiting? Day. How long have you been waiting? <laughs> <laughs> you, you might even say it's a total knockout. You know, you might. It's in your notes, isn't it? It's in your it's notes. Not, it's not in my notes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, We're and need to see those later. <laughs> <laughs> so, do they win? Do they get the audition? Mm-hmm. TKO, love rhombus. Yes, it's all. Yeah, love, love rhombus is my favorite thing. I wish that was time. in my notes. <laughs> That's my favorite thing you've ever said. <laughs> so what happens? They kind of win. They like win. we don't they want. We job. we get a cut feels, to uh, them doing a huge well, dance it montage. Feels, it feels yeah. like whoever wins gets to do their show. Exactly, I gets to do like. a weird, huge like, dance. Had, scene. Uh, Franco won. He would have done his cowboy show on mm-hmm. Broadway or what have you, mm. but he didn't. So you know, TKO wins, and they get to do their show. Which is what full we see at the end. lights and marquees. Yeah, full and sequined everything. leotards and everything. Mm-hmm. And yeah, everybody looks like a fucking Holly, what did you say she looks like? Slipper. She looks like Zool. Yeah. Ghostbusters. Yeah. 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 yeah, she yeah. very much does. <laughs> yeah, that mullet gets taller and taller. Yeah, it got really tall. In this movie. Product, yeah. <laughs> Things got shiny. She mm-hmm. looked like Zool. They, mm-hmm. But the, the, the greatest... <laughs> <laughs> the greatest part is that they start dancing and the judge, the the panel of judges is against it. They're done. But you get, I mean, what we were, I guess, all hoping for in this was like, no, wait, let them dance. 
and then everybody starts to come around. They're like, mm, yes, maybe this Bro, could this be is good. this could be something. Yes, maybe yeah. we've discovered a new culture and a new. By dance. Jove, they've got oh it! My God. <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Did you like how Ozone went up and literally sat on the judges' table and stared them all down? Yeah. Like intently he's like, he's like, no, stared I'm them all down. Dance. Yep. Two, like two feet it. away from their face, yeah. stared them down. Maybe that's part of the thing. That's how it works. Yeah, it's very yeah. aggressive. Intimidation. I think so. You gotta mm-hmm. like be there. It's like, no, I am a person and you are gonna watch me. Like, mm-hmm. Do you not see my ear cuff? This is superiority. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't wear this for no reason. Yeah. Watch me dance. Let me wrap and my he, sleeve around he, my head. Now you'll get it. Yeah. Yeah. He does do that. It's like, no, yeah. you will not do this. This is not for you. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. But he convinces them, and they all come around. And he they convinces them with dance. dance. It's very hard. Convinces them with dance. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah. Franco is fuming and storms fuming. out. If you, you know. do not ignore them, I will leave and take my dancers and go. <laughs> Clutches his pearls and storms it's out. But that's the thing. Like, so Franco's group, like at the end during the big production dance number, like mm-hmm. everyone who we've seen in the movie up to this point, including the Electroshock, Electro Rock, Electro Rock, John Leguizamo. <laughs> He's close. He's not in this movie. I'm just Even no. Electro Rock is part of the backup dancers. Yeah, they're so friends. Everybody yeah. They're has friends made now. nice. Right. Well, I mean, you compete this with is these the people. This the healing power but, of breakdancers. Right, but if you're going to bring in... you got to bring in the best, Colin. Like, you can't just the ignore them because has to come you maybe together. had a beef with them. They're the best. No, mm-hmm. they've they've discovered the secret to peace. Yeah, you got to bring in the crew. Breakdancing. I think that's it. Mm-hmm. I think yeah. Holly nailed it. That's it. There you go. They discovered the secret to peace. Thank you, Smooth Fuca. <laughs> and they established their dominance. <laughs> yep. Right. And then and everyone like, else has right. to follow, yeah, yes. Exactly. And yeah. the I couldn't have done it without my funky force over here. <laughs> and the movie ends with the promise that, hey, if you love this so much, don't worry, you don't have to go anywhere, because pretty coming soon is Breaking 2 Electric Boogaloo. Right there at the end of the movie. Title yeah. and screen. Yep. Boom. And if you own the Shout Factory Blu ray like I do, you can just, you can go just keep right go right into it. You know? It's keep like going. three hours of awesomeness. Barely mm-hmm. barely three hours. Barely three hours. <laughs> At the most. The awesome- At the most Wait, three hours. Is, the, awesome- the other one's eighty seven like, minutes. Eighty seven minutes is the first one. I don't know how long. Of the second one? Like can can it sustain uh, if you were to watch them back to back, will it sustain it's just plus or minus? I mean it, it's yeah, it starts off really strong in electric boogaloo. <laughs> But like I said, the dance scenes just go on way too long. It takes some time to dance your way to save a community. And there's a bunch of like huge group dances with like big crane shots. It does seem like there's like it's more a lot of crane shots in the second one. See, I'm all I'm all for that. I'm on board with the large the large shots. The summer of cannon, but break dancing. The summer of cannon is still rolling. Who knows where it'll (laughs) go next? You know. (laughs) I mean, don't do it. Would it surprise you to know that this? Oh my God. Uh, <laughs> this was the final Canon film that was released from MGM. Oh. Yeah. Because they, at the same time, were trying to release the Bo Derek movie Bolero. Oh. And they said was it, it hey, Bolero? Like, <laughs> say Bolero. Yeah. yeah. Bo Dash Lero. Bo, Bo Derek in Bo Lero. In a film directed by John Derek oh. called Bolero oh, for no. Canon. Oh, oh, no. That's a kiss because, right there. See, this is the other thing. Canon films made these erotic movies like uh, Lady Chatterley's You're Lover back. and yep. Matahari. You me back in. Uh, this was around the same time. And they, because the thought was that there was going to be like explicit, uh, you know, X-rated content. They didn't have the NC-17 back then. X-rated content in Bolero. Mm-hmm. Apparently they screened it for ahead at MGM and he said well he hated the movie anyway like, and it was ended up nominated for golden raspberries and all that <laughs> but he said that's it it's breach of contract because they weren't supposed to release anything that was or come up with anything that was you know x rated uh. so MGM said that's it with canon we're done and canon became because of bolero mm-hmm. canon became the canon films of the late the later day 1980s which is what we remember them mm-hmm. for this missing is- in actions the Masters of the Universe, the Sylvester Stallone movies. This is oh, yeah. one of the most financially successful canon films ever in their history. Like it, they have after this movie, they did not ever hit this high of a financial mark after How this. How did Lombada, so, the Forbidden Dance, do? No, not nearly as well. <laughs> Wait, what is it? Just Lombada, and the other one and was the, the second Dance? one is Lombada, the Forbidden Dance. Yes, we discussed Sequels. this. Yes, yes. yep. Yeah, but it, if you're yeah. new to this, yep. it's more relevant to right. this yep. episode. That's true. That's <laughs> yes. true. Yep. Lombada. Yeah, we'll be talking about canon all summer long. Mm-hmm. All summer. Yes, I will not watch Lombada. Do not bring that. I I won't bring that. Don't worry. <laughs> Sean will walk I just out. Can't. I just Sean's. Sean. He's drawn. 
will room. take his r- love rhombus and walk uh, yeah, 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 <laughs> I'm taking my love rhombus and going home. Yes. Do not subject Funky Force to that. <laughs> me. I will uh, break dance my ass out of here. All right, then. Shall we summon <laughs> Igor, yes. our oh, mailman? I think so. All right, Igor, bring us the mail. Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, well, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. Oh, he's spinning out of here. Holy shit. Oh, well, Igor. he's got his own little piece of cardboard, you he's know, got some moves, some yeah. crutches. <laughs> Have you been doing that the whole time? <laughs> oh Maybe God, we should get Igor. him out. Like, wait, wait, would he be in like TKO or would he be in Electro Rock? Do you think? I think he'd have his own group. He'd his, have his, his own, own crew. crew. He'd right. have his own crew. We should get him like a like an airbrush jacket at the mall, maybe. You know, we could do that. I don't want to come up with I a don't name. For- spoil him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we should remind people where they can get a hold of us. You can get a hold of us on Facebook, Facebook dot com slash Night Freak Show on Twitter. At Sat Freak Show. Or by email. Sat at Freak Show at Yahoo.com. And some of you lovely people have written in. Oh, thank you. Including Nick Hammond, who writes in and says, Hmm, you guys are digging deep on this pick. I've never even heard of this. What? Your life is about to be so much better. Andrew Carlson said, Sadness, Nick, sadness. You must know the roots of all greatness stem from breaking. (laughs) Yes. Apparently. And Dom Cree says, for the record, I fell in love with Lucinda Dickey through Breaking and Breaking 2. No real 80s hair going on, but man, swoon. No Seems real like 80s, 80s hair. That mullet. Are you I serious? Mean, I mean, it wasn't like sky yeah. high. Like, like um, well, it's not like Ninja Jamie 3 Curtis, hair. Yeah. But Jamie Lee Curtis had the same haircut in like Perfect, right? Yeah, she yeah. did. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I want to say Perfect stole from this movie. Yeah. I'm mean, Perfect you know what? 1985. There you go. Oh, per- there perfect stole from this movie. Bastards. Yep. yep. Uh, Ghostbusters 1984. Zool. That was the Zool hair. Yep. The Zool right. hair. Yeah. Yeah. See, the yep. 80s. That there was the cut. Uh, Maybe the Zool. <laughs> say no more. I got it. I got to say no more. Yeah. Give me the tool. Good. Works on men or women in 1984. <laughs> Very true. Uh, asked which was better, Breakin or Beat Street. Ah. MFL on Twitter says Breakin, but what compared to Crush Groove? He says it's Crush Groove by a country mile. How does anybody really? else know these what is movies? Cru- yeah, I've never. I love Breakin. I've never heard of Crush Groove. No, like, never no heard idea. of it. No to Crush Group. Now I that feel is. like I kind of have to watch it, though. Yeah, now I'm yeah, yeah. Let us know how it is. Yeah, we'll do some this. independent research. All right, Chris Huddleston, about our past episode of Halloween. Judds. Halloween. Judds. Uh, what did we watch? Judds. Resurrection? Resurrection. Yeah. Homecoming. Yes. I was going to call it. I was going to call uh, Halloween uh, Homecoming. I mean, basically. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he says, um, I have to disagree with you guys about Halloween 3. I've loved that movie since I first saw it on TV sometime in the late 80s, early 90s, and it's easily my second favorite in the series what? next to the original. And I'm not trying to be a contrarian. He says he wasn't old enough when Season of the Witch was released to even realize that people were pissed off. <laughs> There's music by Carpenter, Dean Cundy's brilliant cinematography, Tom Atkins being Tom Atkins. What's not to like? The plot. Most of it. <laughs> the whole plot of the, the movie kind of sucks. Yeah. I appreciate your love of it. I, I, no. fact that I love the enthusiasm. I love the uh, yeah, enthusiasm. I love that you love it. But, <laughs> but it's no, not for you. me. We've I've, re- I've, I've revisited it many way. times. See, uh, yeah. see, uh, see our previous podcast. <laughs> Why should, he's never going to listen to us ever again. We're never going to hear from him again now. Don't leave us. I will never call you Chuds again. Chuds. Don't do it. Just, you know, watch Dawson's Creek. It's about the same. Give it a chance. There you go. All right. So that brings us to our wrap ups where we're going to go around the table and find out what everybody thought about break in and whether you should watch it. Who are we going to start with, Sean? Colin. Oh, shit. What did you think about break in? Um, the. <laughs> always, good, bring, always a good sign. Uh, well, I'm trying to break it down into like, the, the pros and cons of break in, right? Because uh, <sighs> there's a lot of pros here. Let's be honest. <laughs> Love rhombus. Uh, love, love, <laughs> love rhombus. Love rhombus in this movie. Uh, pros, tons of no. Okay, I Come don't. C squared. The, it's wall to wall hip hop music of 1984. So very electronic kind of uh, you know, uh, none of which I remembered at all. Like hearing on the radio. I mean, this was at the point in time where like if you had a song in a movie, I'm sure there was something on the soundtrack that made it to. You know, the airwaves. I don't remember what it was. There's nothing. It doesn't seem like there's any 
I mean, granted, it's a low budget movie, so probably Crush Groove has like the Sheila E song that, you know, was on the radio or whatever the hell. But uh, there's nothing that seems like it made it out of this. So it's like generic, uh, you know, like uh, 80s pop music, hip hop music, whatever. What was the other? Bebop music? Yeah, something all those spray, spray painted on the bebop, wall. Bebop, rock steady, yeah. it's all the same. Yeah. It's, all, yeah, it's all different genres. It's like hip hop, bebop, and yeah. Um, rock steady. So rock steady. He doesn't know, don't tell him. The, um, <laughs> the acting is like horrible by every single person in the movie. What? Cinda Dickey can't act, oh, but she can sure Goose. move. <laughs> All right, Goose is good. That's Goose, what I'm saying. Like yeah. as a uh, as a performer or as a dancer, Lucinda Dickey is like you know uh, a creature to behold. But as an actor, and I think we maybe said this in uh, Ninja Three. Ninja Three. Yeah. yeah. That it's like woof. Like she should never have you know be put in front of a camera. Mm. I mean, I have um, more empathy for the guys who are the, the break dancers who are like you can break dance. I suppose it's the same thing with her, right? You can dance. Mm-hmm. Get in the movie. So they're you not can dance actors. dance if you want to. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we can leave your friends behind. And if your friends don't dance, and if and they, they don't, don't dance, dance, then they're no friends, they're no of, friends of mine, you know? Uh, so bad acting, <laughs> forgettable music. Uh, the um, It does seem to capture like a time and a place. Like this is, it's, it's a movie being made about a... Um, like cultural phenomena, even, you know, a, a small one like breakdancing that's happening while the phenomena is taking off. Mm. So that's interesting. You know, it's like a time capsule kind of a, it's, it kind of presents a world view, which is kind of, uh, you know, sweet if for lack of a better word, where, um, you know, these kids get all up in each other's faces, and the worst thing that they do is dance in front of them. You know, your dance is better than mine, or whatever the hell, you know? Uh, so there's no, you know, they talk like it's it's aggressive in its, in its you know, performance, and they're yeah. talking about the euphemism, like, I'm, we're going to cut them. I'm not talking about with the knife, it's no, just that we're going to cut them with the sharpness of our, you know... Choreography, pop and lock. <laughs> yeah, with her, yeah, cut them with the sharpness of her choreography. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what they. That is yeah. what they're that's talking about. What they yeah. yeah, it's great that like everyone. That's what everyone knows that that's what it is. Well, like, except cut them, uh, Christopher uh, McDowell. You know, like, <laughs> he's, comes yeah. in, like, he's what very, you got a knife? He's very white in this movie. Yep. Well, they're inventing a whole new, you know, uh, they're combining to, vocabulary. Yeah. So, um, like so that kind of stuff was interesting. It's a positive thing. You, but you've seen the story like a hundred times before it's the rags to riches kind of you know we're going to succeed against all odds we're just going to keep on fighting we do this thing better than anybody else and uh (laughs) yeah but it takes like forever to get there because i was with it i guess for a little while you know i mean they're doing all these you know breakdance numbers and all that but there became there came a time 40 minutes in or something like that in the garage where it was just like, I can't tell if this is good dancing or bad dancing. It's like, because, and this is the thing, I had two things that were my counterpoints. Whenever Lucinda Dickey would get up and dance, I'm like, she can dance. And them on either side of her can't dance at all. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. They're just doing these things, and it's like, it's very hectic, and it doesn't look good, whatever the hell it is. And that's breakdancing. And in front of, you know, in between them, you've got an actual dancer. Mm. And she's out dancing the shit out of them. And at those scenes, like Sean was saying, where we were in the club and there's a dance-off, I can't tell. Like, I could not tell if one team was better than the other. I think that's a problem with your movie. If you can't identify, like, well, that guy, you know, his dance moves, the choreography, the athleticism was, you know, so much better than the other team that, like, I see it. I agree. Right. It's They're like nobody stumbled. Won. It's like there was no obvious, like, oh, he did that wrong in their dancing. I feel like you had to be an actual dancer to realize what they were Probably. doing wrong. Maybe. You Probably know? maybe. I feel yeah. like that's what it is, you know? Yeah. Really? You don't. You don't think that legitimate dancers watch would watch? I mean, not now, but like back then, watch this movie and weren't like, "What the fuck are they doing?" Yeah, probably I, because I feel like actual street dancers back then would have been like, "This what? No." Well, the actual street dancers were doing all this, and f- for all we know, right, that uh, B- Alec- or Boogaloo Shrimp and Shabadoo were actual street dancers. Mm-hmm. So this was yeah. the thing that they were coming mm-hmm. up with. So this was the cutting edge. Uh, you know, enshrined on 35 That's millimeter yeah. film version of, you know, what they were doing. 
at that time. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It was it. So I guess, you know, the more and more dance sequences that we saw in the montages, it was like, okay, you know, like I get it. And there's the plot. So threadbare and it basically is just, you know, trying to get us to that point where, you know, it's the good team versus the bad team for the, you know, the trophy. You know, whatever the trophy is going to be. And it's like, I've seen this before. And I think I've seen it done better. So I don't think, I mean, it's kitschy, you know, um, it's, I mean, that doesn't make it awful. It's not like an awful, awful movie. It's just, um, yeah, I don't, I don't think I can recommend like, you got to go see it, you know, unless you're into break dancing or dance or something like that, maybe. But, uh, I mean, if you're just sitting around like, what can we watch on a Saturday night? I, uh, I, I, don't, think, I don't think break is uh, yeah, so uh, that's a that's a pass on breaking. Passes on breaking. Oh, um, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wasn't necessarily looking forward to this movie tonight because I, 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 I think everybody knows of breaking or at least breaking to Electric Boogaloo, but I was aware not of, its, of its existence, of its yeah. existence, yeah. or at least yeah. the title, or at least you know there should be the origins of where that comes from. Mm-hmm. You add Electric Boogaloo to everything, right? Um, so I wasn't really looking forward to it because just I, I'm not dance movies. Not gonna get me interested. What is the equivalent now? Like the Step Up movies, like yeah. is the most recent. Yeah, thing, oh, yeah. I think. yeah, yeah. Like much. I, that we didn't mention that at all. But right. I, and I've never I was thinking about that while we were watching. Right, it too. and I've never well, seen. We them. haven't mentioned it because I don't. Has anyone here seen them? I have never. I seen no, I have not seen. 3D. Did you? Well, because it's in it's 3D. in 3D. It's in 3D. Yeah. It's in 3D. Yeah. I have not yeah. seen a single one of them. I haven't seen any of them either. So I yeah. can't be like. Yeah. Look at what the similarities are. If anything carries like over, Channing from, Tatum or something. Yeah, yeah. At least it wasn't yeah. the first one. Yeah, yeah. So I, Shailene. No, uh, no, 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 no. No, what's no. a fucking the, no. your next girl? It's her in the third one, uh, and the second one, and know. possibly the first one. I don't. Know. I have no story. idea. We're all guessing. No idea. Right. Mm-hmm. But I, I can't <laughs> see. I can't look any uh, look at any modern equivalent. Uh, of these movies because I haven't seen them to see if like anything carries over from the old stuff to the new stuff if there's similarities between them um, because it's just not my kind of movie I did have I had a lot of fun watching this tonight yeah uh, but I think that was for like it's obvious sheer ridiculousness like mm. the actors aren't actors I mean Christopher McDonald is the um, I probably the most experienced actor in this movie but I also couldn't I can't look away from movies like this because of the people who can't act like I can't mm-hmm. look away from Lucinda Dickey basically every word she says just because, because she's not wearing a bra no it's, but it's <laughs> I mean that helps but it's not but that's not it it's just the way it's it's the the terribleness in which they deliver lines and everything it's fascinating to me mm-hmm. and it's just it's it gives me I don't know what, maybe some enjoyment to watch people do it this badly. I yeah. Don't, but it's yeah. weird. Like, I can't, I enjoy watching her do it badly. It's like, it's like watching really bad reality it. TV. Or something. I totally you, get you it. Love, you love the train wreck. I yeah. do. Yeah. It's just like, I know that's bad, but yeah. I would watch her, like, say yeah. things more. Like, mm-hmm. I, yep. give me more. And it's, I agree. it's weird that way. It is, the dance scenes are confusing as far as who's doing better than the other ones. Like, yeah. I don't get what is good and what is bad in this. Uh, based, I mean, exactly what Colin said. Um, but, uh, so I, it's confusing in those parts, but I had fun watching this movie. I mean, yeah. like I said, like acting's terrible, but I, I think it's fun. Like I, I enjoyed watching. I would watch, uh, break into, uh, I'm kind of very curious about it right now because yeah. I mean, like that's the one electric boogaloo. Like, you know, you kind of have to watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, but I had enough fun in this movie watching kind of things. Uh, happen so I, I would recommend it just because you know uh, it's uh, fascinating that this m- movie exists. Yeah. Um, I mean, I'd recommend it. Um, it's not uh, you're not looking for great acting in this movie, but there's enough fun in it from all these different characters. I think you can get enjoyment out of this someone, so uh, mm-hmm. I recommend it. Yeah. Well, thanks for that, Funky Fresh. Ah, no problem. <laughs> I don't. Remember. That's not even my name. I was like, I don't remember what uh, your name it's is. Funky Force. Yeah. Funky Force. That's it. You're my Funky. But Force. you go, Smooth Fuka. Yeah. Um. Yeah, so I mean, we've we've already kind of hit on it. That I, I think with I think with nowadays where the evolution of dance has brought us, that's why we're at this place where we're like, is this good? Because if we'd watched this back then, we might have a better understanding. But now we look at it and we're like, you know, where we're at now in dance, you know, there's tons of reality shows with dancers. Yeah. There's movies about dancing. There's so much more to dancing now that we look at it and we're like, this is like. The bare bones of like hip hop dancing. Have this we all is... seen Save the Last Dance? 
I mean, come I on. mean we've all seen it. No. We've all that's seen it. Yeah. That's the modern yeah. equivalent of combining the two cultures. <laughs> yeah, it really yeah. is. And it's a better movie. But, um, well, yeah. And, anyway, um, <laughs> I like that's where I'm at. I'm watching this and I'm like, am I crazy? I don't think any of them are good dancers. Even Lucinda. She did not enchant me the way she enchanted Colin. Uh, <laughs> I was like, enchanted. She, yeah, mm, like oh, yeah. she is just like kind of sloppy. I've seen so many more graceful people, and I'm mean, just like all of them. I'm like, I don't. Know. I I can see that you're popping and locking. I see that, but it's doing nothing for me. And in fact, it's kind of freaking me out. <laughs> like they're just very aggressive. Why, why are you a crab right now? Why? Why yeah, is he a crab? Why was he a crab? It was freaky as hell. Because you could do I it. I think part of it comes from the fact that they make eye contact with the camera every they time do. they do stuff like that. That's really unsettling. <laughs> did they ever make a crunking mute Seriously. movie? No. Okay. That, is, that is, face was so crunking? that Colin, face was so do you, short. Colin, do you really know less. what crunking is, Colin? No, but I think it had something to do. They dressed up like clowns and did a bunch of like squats or something. <laughs> that's, no, that's, that's not, not what it is. is. That's, that's not, not what it is. is. Nope, that's not it. Right, no, wait but, for our new podcast. Colin <laughs> explains <laughs> dancing. Yeah. Oh, I would listen to that. that. I would listen to the shit out of that. That'd be awesome. No, seriously, this guy aggressively crab walks towards the camera while making eye contact. Like that's weird and fuck. It's just fucked up. <laughs> it's just where if you're coming into this movie at this point in time in 2017, looking at the way they dance, it's not holding up at all. <laughs> They're all kind of ridiculous. And it's a movie about dancing. It's 87 minutes of dancing. So the fact that that doesn't hold up is kind of awful like <laughs> it really is however it's funny as fuck this yeah. movie was hilarious yeah. whether intentional so or not right. yeah. facial expressions four beers alone. In. Yeah. it's uh, so that's the recommendation it's a four beer minimum well now i'm at six well but so. to watch the movie oh yeah no i was yeah. four oh, drink beer. I was four yeah. beers in by the end of this movie, and I highly recommend doing that because I laughed my ass off. So yeah, no, if you, the dancing aspect is completely does not hold up. It we've come so far with dance, and it's just kind of insulting to where we're at now. However, this movie is funny as hell. It's enjoyable to watch, and the fact that it's just fucking entertaining for a, a bad dance movie. And I mean, that's kind of what we do. We look for the entertainment in these movies. So with that in mind, I'm going to say absolutely watch it. You will be entertained. <laughs> Colin has a caveat. Oh, I'm just curious <laughs> how much of an extra bump you're giving this movie because it's got the kid in it. Oh, the awesome oh, breakdancing kid? kid? The, the kid that, the they, that they pull out of the trash can at the end? <laughs> that kid? The kid that literally that Oscar, kid, yes. he Oscar the Grouches out of a trash can? Yeah. Well, he's, like the, he's almost as good a breakdancer. He's little like, Shrimp. Like seven better. years old. Little yeah, Shrimp better, yeah. is awesome. Baby and Shrimp. Baby Shrimp. Baby Shrimp. Baby Shrimp. Baby shrimp. Popcorn yeah. Shrimp. Popcorn Shrimp. <laughs> There it is. There it is. Popcorn shrimp. Popcorn shrimp. 90% of my recommendation is for popcorn shrimp, who looks remarkably like Sean's child. Uh, so, yes. so hair. there you go. Uh, Smooth Fuca is recommending breaking. I'm out. <laughs> I uh, I came to this movie in a very specific and unique way. Uh, when I was in high school, I was a freshman in high school, I took a news writing class, which was all about writing for journalism. And on Fridays, our assignment was you can write a review for a movie. That's you can any movie you want, write a review for it. And my teacher, God bless him, pretty sure he listened to this, Mr. Horwich, you're the best. Um, <laughs> uh, he he um, he's a great guy. He we, uh, he got really fed up with 14 year olds being like, Fight Club's a terrible movie. It fucking sucks. Like he got tired of like that horrible like fourteen year old like yeah. rejectionary opinion of like these populist movies are terrible. Mm -hmm. So anytime like the class got too like focused around like this beloved movie is terrible, he'd be like, "You want to see a fucking bad movie? I'll show you a bad movie." <laughs> and he would bring in a bad movie and make us watch it, and then make us write a paper on it. This was the nice. first one we had to watch <laughs> and write a paper on, and it has stuck with me ever since. And That's this a good was way to be yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, uh, the scars have not healed yet. So this is therapy. I had to write a paper on this. I had to write a paper on this movie. And um, we mentioned that Michaela has like 
four copies. Yeah, yeah she can does. we have uh, a copy in front of us right now? We have, I, we have two copies of each. Break I, in and break in two right now. I own two break in, break in one and break in two, both on se- two separate DVDs, and I own the dual Shout Factory Blu ray of both of them as well. Them over. Yeah. Have you listened on? to the commentary yeah. for yeah. Break in? Not yet. I, sh- oh, I really you should. should. You um, should. But this was the movie, like, have you guys ever watched a movie and it was the first time you realized movies could be awesomely bad? Like, movie, yep. not, like yeah. not only that movies could be bad, but they could be enjoyably bad. This, yeah. for me, I re- we watched this in school. We watched it in school and then we had to write a paper on it. And I remember being like, holy shit, I had no idea that movies, like, <laughs> like, like when you're a kid and you have that realization that movies can be bad, that's heartbreaking, right? Like, because mm-hmm. when you're a kid watching movies, you're just excited to be watching a movie. Right. Everything is awesome because you're a kid watching a movie. But when you're a kid and you watch your first movie that's bad, that's the, the world shatters for you at that moment bad, like the, like the holy other, shit movies can be bad that's the other side horrible of that that's heartbreaking is when you realize a movie you love is bad yeah exactly that's exactly heartbreaking yeah moment. yeah so like yeah something what, we've experienced yeah. many times uh. so when you get to your teenage years and you find out movies can be aw- like enjoyable but still be bad and be awesomely bad that's a great balance between yeah. the mm-hmm. two this was my first realization that holy shit a movie can be bad but still be enjoyable so yeah. this movie's very near and dear to my heart i know it's terrible i don't like dance movies i I haven't seen a single like I haven't seen a single Save the Last Dance. I've seen not not anything past eighties dance movies. I have not seen. I don't care about. I like this because it's terrible. The acting's terrible. The outfits are insane. Mm-hmm. It's it's. I like it because it like the same reason I like Cursed. It's a time capsule of the time period. Absolutely. And that's why I watch it. And it's this weird comforting blanket of like <laughs> of self actualization of like. I don't know anything about the world because I thought (laughs) when I was 14 years old, I thought Fight Club was a bad movie. But when then I had my mind blown open by breaking, you know, like, so it's um, exactly, exactly. Yeah. My teacher's like, oh, you think Fight Club's bad? Let me show you bad. Yeah, exactly. Wrapped in an ear cuff of reality. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) So I love this movie. Obviously, if you're going to watch an 80s canon movie, your expectations are already pretty low. Add dancing on top of it. It's probably a little lower. Um, yeah, you watch it for the time capsule. You don't watch it for anything else. You don't watch it for the dancing. You don't watch it for you, the you acting. You watch it for how serious they take it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I think it's it's a fascinating watch. It's gonna it's gonna go in directions you wouldn't expect, especially the second one. Um, it's a great back to back viewing if you can do it. I definitely recommend it. <laughs> yeah, the Canon Films also do the Apple, right? Which is like which some- is. I would never subject you to because it's That's awful. It's musical. Yeah, <gasps> it is. It is canon musical. It's canon's version of Xanadu. No. Keanu yes. Lorber's putting it on a Blu-ray this yeah. month. No. <laughs> like I've seen it and Beware. I hate. I I can't. I, I no no just no. Oh, one more final note. Um, I noticed that um Ozone was wearing a lot of like animal tails and fedoras. I like to think that he gave birth to like anime kids wearing those. Like they saw this yeah. movie. You wore an animal tail? Like, How did I? Yeah, I never in the, in yeah. the you no, know, it was in the first dance scene. He had two like fur tails clipped on the side of like his eight studded belts that he was wearing. Really? Yeah. yeah, he had like two Wait, fur tails. Scene? And the first time they go to elect the um, battle electro rock at the Radiotron, uh, okay. the first time when they lose, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Totally he has two that. like white fur tails clipped to his studded belt. Wow. And I was like, that's where anime kids got yeah. it from. <laughs> this movie, <laughs> they all watch this movie. There you go. Breaking the mm-hmm. cultural, uh, you know, it changed, Equalizer. It changed the oh, world. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it changed, it changed a world. It changed a world. Yeah. <laughs> it changed, yeah, yeah, it a, changed world. a world. Dance your way into peace. Yeah. 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 All right, so it's uh, breaking. Next week, we're going to m- watch a movie that's chosen by... Colin. I knew it this time. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't know when it's me. That's what yeah. it is. Yeah. 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 Michaela's the wild card. Yeah. Like, I have no idea. Yeah. I have no barometer yeah. for Michaela. It doesn't matter yeah. if we're pointing. Yeah. Yeah. She's Nothing. waving. There's like I mean, a sign over yeah. going... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're going to tackle the Universal Uh-oh. Dark Universe next oh, no. week because no, by the time you're listening to this, The Mummy is coming out, so we're going to watch The Mummy. All right. Oh, Shit. You're like, which one? Well, I haven't decided yeah, Colin. yet. But uh, what? I think we're watching yeah. the Boris Karloff one because yeah. I haven't watched that recently. So, uh, all right. But we're going to talk about all of them. It'll okay. be Mummies Universal throughout. Monsters. Colin's yeah. going to talk about all of them. Universal well, you guys Monsters. are going to, yeah, we'll, we'll be in on this. So that's next week. <laughs> oh, research on the Saturday Night Freak Show. <laughs> and until then, ladies and germ 